Snowball Bar Liquid Filling Process Line. What you see here is a rotary valve washing machine with an integral washing tank designed to clean valves internally and externally with different washing media in six stages. This machine is set up with 15 gripper blocks with four gripper arms per block to give you an output of 120 vials per minute for 20 ml tubular vials. Vials are fed to an in-feed conveyor from the decartening room through a vial transfer system. The in-feed conveyor transfers the vials to a turntable. The in-feed turntable unscrambles the vials. The vials, singled out, are then transferred to the in-feed star wheel and delivered to a revolving conveying system consisting of 60 equally spaced V-grippers mounted on its circumference. Each vial is held by its neck. V-grippers rotate the vials by 180 degrees neck down. The vials are then passed through the cleaning stations upside down. At the individual stations, spray needles travel in synchronism with the vials with orifices exactly centered. The spray needles follow the continuously moving grippers from start to the finish of a working station and retract. As long as spray needles are inside the vials, spraying with cleaning media takes place. The used cleaning media is collected in the integrated stainless steel tray and recirculated or drained. The vials are cleaned internally and externally by a spray of recirculated water at the first station. Internally blow dried with compressed air at the second station. Sprayed with purified water at the third station. Internally blow dried with compressed air at the fourth station. Sprayed with WFI at the fifth station. And finally, internally and externally blow dried with compressed air. After the six stage cleaning cycle, the vials are withdrawn in a process similar to the entry. The vials are reversed by 180 degrees, orifice up and engaged in the slots of an outfeed star wheel from where the vials are pushed back to back to the downline sterilizing tunnel. Vials exiting the washing machine are further processed by sterilizing and depyrogenating tunnel. The vials are carried by a conveyor into the first chamber called drying zone. Room air is pulled in through a 5 micron filter by a blower and is forced down through a sub micron filter at a controlled velocity onto the batch of the vials moving in the tunnel. As the vials are near the sterilizing zone, they are preheated up to approximately 100 degrees centigrade by the hot air of the sterilizing zone. This air along with water vapor is pulled out from beneath the conveyor belt at the beginning of the sterile zone by drying zone extraction blower and ejected out of the system. Hot air at approximately 330 degrees centigrade is recirculated in this zone. Air heated by temperature controlled heaters is forced down by a blower through high efficiency submicron filters. An equal pressure drop across the length and breadth of filters enables in creating an extremely even distribution of air. 
This uniformity enables each and every vial to be treated with hot air at the required velocity, temperature and duration. Due to a positive differential in the heating zone, small amount of air flows to the drying and cooling zones. Vials on exiting the sterilizing zone enter the cooling zone. Cool air is sucked in by a fan and discharged through high efficiency submicron particulate air filters with vertical laminar downflow onto the vials. The recirculating fan in the cooling zone carries the warmed up air underneath the cooling zone conveyor through a pre-filter and a cooling coil back to the cooling zone. The temperature and even distribution of air in the cooling zone ensures the vials exit at a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. The length of the cooling zone is designed sufficiently long enough to prevent thermal stress to the vials. Vials exiting the tunnel are fed to the downline machine. Measuring devices. It is imperative that all process parameters are maintained within the limits set and continuous recording is provided online and offline. Snowball offers various recording instruments integrated into the system. Snowball liquid vial filling and stoppering machine is a monoblock type process machine designed to fill liquids and to further carry out the stoppering operation on the filled vials. The vials fed from a linear unscrambler through one lane are carried back to back by a slat belt to the filling section of the machine. The filling needles are lowered into the properly positioned vials and on completion of dosing, retract. At a given time, eight filled vials are released by the star wheel and are carried towards the stoppering station. Filtered compressed nitrogen is used for pre- and post-gassing of vials. Vials released from the dosing station are further indexed to the stoppering turret for stoppering operations. At the stoppering station, each vial is plugged by a stopper. Vibrating hopper orients the stoppers and delivers the stoppers on two tracks. Stoppers from each track are picked and placed on the orifice of the vials. Liquid dosing system consists of a support where stainless steel filling pumps are placed with a filling needle support unit. Pump volume is adjustable individually by servo motors. Automatic adjustment for the dosing volume by servo control. A buffer tank can be provided with recirculation system for the suspension with insulation. The level of liquid in the buffer tank would be controlled by load cells. A vacuum star wheel picks up vials for rejection and sampling and carries the vials out onto a tray. Snowball vial capsuling machine is a continuous motion machine, rotary sealer with eight identical sealing heads. 
The ceiling orientation is by a vibratory orienter. Stoppered vials from the in-feed turntable are conveyed to this vial cap sealing machine. Vials are carried by an in-feed star wheel and during the transfer a cap is picked up before entering the machine. Each vial is supported on a revolving spring loaded platform and the mouth of each vial with the cap is held by a chuck. A cam driven ceiling roller engages the lip of the cap and during its rotary motion effectively completes the crimping process. At the exit of the sealing drum, the sealing roller disengages and the seal vial is carried by the outfeed star wheel. Vials with missing stoppers, missing caps or flip-top caps of a wrong color are ejected out by the outfeed star wheel. Change over to different sizes of vials or flange caps or seals are affected by exchanging a set of different size parts.